Hello and welcome to this video about Jaguar XK8 Inertia Switch. This is video 104 in my series of XK8 videos. In this video I'm going to show you the fuel supply inertia switch location, reset and removal procedures for both the 4 litre and the 4.2 litre variants. I'm going to do this uh, in five sections of the video. First of all the location up to 2000 and including 2002 model year. Second, the location from model year 2003 onwards. Three, the reset procedure is actually the same for both models. Section four, the removal of the unit uh, for model year up to 2002. And then section five, the removal from 2003 onwards. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in Jaguar XK8 or Jaguar XKRs, X100s. If you are, might I suggest you subscribe to my channel by pressing the rectangular red subscribe button with subscribe written on it, clicking the bell to be reminded when videos are aired, and click the thumbs up if you like the video or thumbs down if you don't. And if you have any questions or comments, and, uh, please ask them in the comment section below the video. Section one then, location up to and including model year 2002 or the VIN number 2A. 30644. So the inertia switch location then is on the passenger side of the fuse box and it's that little unit there on the right hand side. There you go, that unit, that is the inertia switch. The section 2 then, location after 2003 or from VIN number A30 six four five basically this all the 4.2 litre engines um, supercharged and normally aspirated onwards it's actually in the same side of the vehicle the left hand side and it's in the it's in the footwell behind the trim and behind the uh, the bonnet release catch section three then reset procedure I'm going to read straight out of the manual. The manual is very, very similar for both variants. This is the procedure up to and including model year 2002. So basically, um, the fuel cutoff switch then, in the event of an accident, an inertia switch will trip, isolating ignition control circuits, including fuel pump operation. Simultaneously, the doors will automatically unlock. Once a tr switch has tripped, it must be reset before attempting to restart the engine. The doors will not unlock if the inertia switch is tripped when the ignition switch is in the zero position zero. The inertia switch is located in the left hand fascia fuse box behind the pull out panel. To remove the panel, first open the left hand door. A button on top of the switch under the flexible cover is raised when the switch has been tripped. So resetting the switch then. First of all there's a warning. To avoid the possibility of fire or personal injury, do not reset the inertia switch if you see or smell fuel. So basically the whole idea of this inertia switch is if you have an accident and break a fuel line, it will stop fuel being pumped underneath the vehicle and increasing the fire risk. So if you smell fuel and reset the switch, chances are you're going you're gonna to exacerbate that problem, so hence the warning. If no fuel leak is apparent, reset the inertia switch as follows. 1. Turn the ignition switch to position 0. 2. Press down the flexible cover on top of the inertia switch. 3. Turn the ignition switch to position 2. Pause for a few seconds, then return the key to position 0. 4. Make further checks for fuel leaks. In other words, make sure you definitely haven't got a fuel leak, because the fuel will now be pumping as normal. The uh, reset procedure uh, for the uh, 4.2 litre cars, the 2003 model year onwards, is basically the same, but with a different picture with the location. Section four then, removal uh, for those early cars up to model year 2002. The tools you're gonna need is uh, basically a ratchet and a nine millimeter socket and extension. The um, the JAG removal procedure is basically just remove two uh, uh, nuts, it is, either side of the connector. The inertia switch itself, the part number is LNA6520BA, 
and the nylock uh, nuts used to hold it in place are JLM 11988. All you've got to do, you can see the nut there, is just under it with your ratchet and the thing just comes straight off. Unplug the electrical connector, swap it out. It's as easy as that. Section 5 removal for model year 2003 onwards, basically the 4.2 litre cars, is a little bit more complicated. Because although be it's inside the footwell, it's in the, in the midst of the wiring loom and it gets a little bit complicated. So first of all you can remove the left hand cowl uh, trim, detach the electrical connections from the wiring harness retaining brackets. You then have to remove the wired, wiring harness retaining bracket because it's sitting underneath that and then you can actually detach the inertia cutoff switch similar to before. In this case the inertia switch is a different design. The part number is C2N 1918. The nylock nuts in this case are JFY 106041. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to confirm the details or get photographs because mine is a 1996 car. It's not the 4.2 litre variant. Once you've done all that, you can basically un unhook the connector and swap out the uh, inertia switch. So there you go. Very quick video. Uh, the location of both uh, types of inertia switch, the reset procedure, which is the same, and the removal procedure uh, as per Jaguar procedures. Thank you very much for watching. If you have problems with your car starting, the inertia switch is one of the first things to look at, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks very much for watching again. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Xcate videos.